This is an EZ hive. EZ stands for Zniederschick Alberti, the inventors of the hive. And these hives are used in bee houses in the Julian Alps area, Slovenia typically. So they're made such that several hives can be stacked one on top of the other. But by stacking hives, of course, you can't get in through the top like we can in a normal British hive. So you have to go in at the back by opening down a door. We smoke the hive at the front, as normal if entering any hive. And now we open the rear doors and they hinge down. And we see there is a storage area here. And we can see the frames beyond that. So to access the brood chamber, which is a lower chamber, upper chamber is for the supers, we undo these cam locks and then we pull out that door. And you'll notice on the door there is sheet metal guides for the frames because the frames for an AZ hive normally would be spaced with these and the frames would normally not have lugs. They rest on two six millimeter steel bars on the bottom of the hive. But this hive has been constructed so that it can accept standard Smith frames with lugs. So the lugs are performing no function other than I can interchange them with the standard Smith hives that there are in Apiary here. So normally what we do with this, the frames are sitting on a cassette which can be slid out, but quite often that cassette is propolized in, I find, so it's not going to come out. So we just have to take the frames out one by one. And there you see it's just a standard Smith frame with lugs, but the lugs are not performing any function because the frames sit on that steel bar which you can see just inside the cavity. Take out another frame. And we can inspect the frames as we would on a normal hive. Here is the queen. She's marked white in this hive because she is a this year's queen. So she doesn't really care whether it's an AZ hive or a Smith hive or any other sort of hive. So normally in this hive there is 12 frames and there's 12 Smith frames here. So the chamber is a little bit bigger than a standard Smith which would have 11 self-spacing frames. Okay, so that is the brood chamber. We can now assemble the hive again and we have to be careful to make sure that the frames fit into the front uh, sheet metal gaps. And sometimes it's a little bit of a fiddle to get them to, to go in. So you can see they're a little bit awkward to put in and make sure they're nested into their sheet metal locations. Uh, it might be a little bit easier if they weren't standard Smith frames, but I think even in a normal AZ it's not going to be typically easy. So there's the frames all back and now we have to space them roughly so that they fit inside the steel spacers as we put on the inner door. in the door and we do up the cam locks and then that's secure. Now we can see that there are some bees left out in the storage area so there is a little entrance way here so that these bees can get back into the brood box. That is the brood chamber. Okay so now we'll go up into the super area. So we undo the cam locks from the upper inner doorway and again you can see that that has these location 
pegs to uh, hold the frames at the right spacing. There is no cassette in the top so we just have to pull the frames uh, out. And here we have a frame of honey. And again I have built this hive so that it can take standard Smith super frames so that I can swap about. But I've also made it the full height as it would be in a continental AZ hive because they use the same size frames in the brood chamber and up above in the super area. So mm -hmm. I can revert to that if I wish. I pull out this tray up here uh, which slides out or slides mm -hmm. in and that gives room to put in a full depth frame. Now this upper area is divided from the lower area with a platform that has a 100 millimeter section of queen excluder. So the queen excluder is on this part here. With all the super frames out, this upper area can be used to feed and the bees can access it up through the queen excluder section. So we'll pop that back in. Again you can see the rods that the frames sit on. There's two of these, one towards the back and one towards the front. So we just slide it in. And try to get it slotted into its slot. And there they are all slotted in and they're all spaced equally. So that when I put on the inner door, the separators all go into place. So this is a little bit of a fiddle where you have to just space them so that the spacers all fit in. And there we, there we are. Now what are the advantages of an AZ? Well obviously if you have hives stacked one on top of the other that's the major advantage. What are the disadvantages? I find there is a bit of an inclination for them to propolize up, especially the cassettes, so that it won't come out. Uh, other serious disadvantages is doing artificial swarming is a bit trickier, and also uniting is a bit trickier. So I think you have to think of this hive as a hive that's manipulated frame by frame. And that could be a good thing if it was someone that wasn't able to lift uh, full boxes of bees or honey. Uh, doing it frame by frame could be an advantage. But I think the disadvantages of not being able to artificially swarm easy, easily and not being able to unite easily makes this not a very practical hive for beekeeping in our circumstances. So that is the Z hive and to finish up we close the door. The door is made so that you can uh, take it down like a stable door to put things in it you want to store there and then there are little swing over catches that simply lock it in place. And that's the Alberti Sneedersick rear entry hive.